and a happy new year to you. And welcome to Arabesque Agenda, the show that will let you know all the fun arts and culture events that are coming up in the UK and the Middle East. First up, let's see what the UK has to offer the new year of 2015. Starting the new year with a classic, a reading of an ad adaption of Tolstoy's Resurrection will take place at the Rich Mix in East London. It is the AZ Theatre's artistic director Jonathan Chadwick who will bring his adaptation of the story of the wealthy landowner who is on the jury for a trial in which the woman he seduced as a teenager is up for murder. The stage ad adaptation brings in a contemporary frame to this extraordinary encounter and is presented as a benefit for the War and Peace Gaza London project, which aims to produce a contemporary Arabic stage version of Tolstoy's War and Peace in Gaza, Palestine. The reading will take place on Sunday the 18th of January and for tickets and information visit the website at aztheatre.org.uk If you've ever thought you might be good at writing and telling stories, this next opportunity might be for you. The publishing company Neem Tree Press are calling out for new fiction in modern standard Arabic for children. They are specifically searching for books that would target the age groups of 8 to 11 or 12 to 14 year olds and be in the form of short novels between 10 and 45,000 words. If you think you can write in a passionate and engaging way for children, send your manuscripts to Arabic submissions at meantreepress.com and you shall be notified within two months if you have been successful. Best of luck to you. And finally, in the topic of writing, ever wanted to learn to write in Kufi? the first ever scripture to be consciously made beautiful. Well, here's an opportunity. One of the masters of creative calligraphy, Jumana Medley, is giving a course in the topic for six weeks starting in April. The aim of the course in returning to Kufi is to guide students towards finding their own approach to the art of Arabic calligraphy. The last session of the course is dedicated to creating a final and personal project. The course starts on Wednesday the 1st of April and goes on every Wednesday for six weeks. To register for the class or for questions, you can email info at arabbritishcenter.org.uk. Now, let's go over to the Middle East and see what's happening there. The Lebanese band The Incompetents will be playing live at the Metro Al Madina in Beirut. The Incompetence is a musical project that came to life almost by mistake in November 2007. Eight years have passed since its inception, and The Incompetence today is gaining recognition outside of the borders of its native Lebanon. They also have an important visual identity and language that is consistently spearheaded by Beirut-based artist Alfred Tarazi, who has been producing most of the band's cryptic visuals. Their concert will take place on Tuesday, 6th of January, and for tickets and information, head to theincompetence.com. In Bahrain, a new school for pottery has opened. Having over 25 years of experience of producing and teaching all aspects of ceramics and pottery making, the Easy Artist Studio is offering workshops and classics, classes for adults and children. They are also hosting craft workshops covering a wide range of subjects such as mosaics, silk painting, camel making and felting. You can catch their new course in January, maybe the new thing to learn for this year. Just register with them and find more info at their website on easyartpottery.com. Now time has come to recommend you the Arabic episode of the week. We recommend you this week to check out our episode 30 of the second season of Arabesque, the Guildhall performance of Lebanese renowned pianist Michel Fidel in aid of the Children's Cancer Center of Lebanon. A high profile event with a heart on the right place, we get to see who was there, what they had to say and the success of the evening which was named Rhythms of Hope. You can check it out on levon.tv slash arabesque. so much for joining us. We hope your diary will allow you to visit one of these wonderful works and that you will have a great evening. See you next week for more tips on where to see the best events from the Middle East and North African communities right here in the UK and in the Middle East. Till then, take good care.